everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Today I am making a curry, which is vegetarian. We're making this curry, which is made from either um, tuar lilva, which is in Gujarati, uh, pigeon peas, which is in English, or barazi, which is in Kiswahili. So if you want to learn how to make this, let's go ahead and review all the ingredients. I'm also, I also uploaded a video on Mahamri or Mandazi, which we're going to eat today with this curry. And this was uploaded on Wednesday. So make sure if you want to learn how to do that, make sure there are East African donuts, which is Mahamri or Mandazi. I'm showing three different ways how to make it. Go ahead and uh, check out for that video. I'm also going to put it on the end of the screen so you can see that video. So, um, if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Um, if you have subscribed, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and share my videos. And uh, there's a bell on the right, <clears throat> right down there. Hit the bell so you get notified every time a new video has been uploaded. Let's get started. All right, for the ingredients, we're gonna need about two tablespoons of olive oil. Um, I have one tomato here. I have half of a really large onion that I have grated. And this also we are going to grate it. Now I know that we are all looking for ways to preserve our stuff. So if you buy tomatoes, just throw them in the freezer, wash them, um, and then shred them like this, and you're ready to use them in your um, curries or whatever you want. So this is a really great idea. I always have fresh frozen tomatoes. I don't like to cut them up or anything, just frozen. I have about six curry leaves here. Um, salt to taste, I'm going to do a tablespoon of tomato, half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, I've got a teaspoon of fresh ginger garlic, one teaspoon of, a, of my sambal garlic sauce, chili garlic sauce, half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of lemon pepper, and this is about two pounds of the uh, pigeon peas that we're going to be using they're completely boiled so they're after boiling them they're about two pounds of uh, of um uh, the pigeon peas so now let's get started and make the curry all right oil is at temperature and my uh, mustard seeds in okay you want to make sure that your mustard seeds pop if they don't pop they're going to be bitter now i'm going to add my um curry leaves and i'm going to turn the temperature down just a little bit Next, we'll add our ginger and garlic and our sambal in here. in our onions. Now I want the onions to cook and get really nice and light brown before I add the tomatoes and all the spices in there. So you see how we've got some caramelization going on here? This is this is what you want to do because this is going to take away that raw onion flavor and it's going to give this dish a really nice depth in flavor, all right? So this is good to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my tomato paste in here. I usually like to really cook my tomato paste with the curries so that it gives that a really nice flavor, all right? I'm going to mix this. Next, I want the spices. To cook as well <coughs> so that that was the cupping the cor coriander the lemon pepper the turmeric once you see that your tomato paste has given a really nice darker maroon color that's the time we're going to go ahead and add our uh, grated tomatoes in here. Okay, perfect. Okay. 
Okay, at this time you want to do a taste test. And I think we still need to add our salt in there. Now you can make this into a dry curry, but because I'm going to be, um, we're going to be eating this with the mahamri or mandazi, um, I am going to add a little bit of water in there. The taste is perfect. Salt, everything is good. I'm going to add our pigeon, boiled pigeon peas in there. Now, another thing that would really be good is um, some uh, chopped cor coriander, which I don't have fresh coriander right now. So if you have it, it will be a, a really good addition to that. Now I'm going to grab just a little bit of water. <coughs> and the water really depends on how much of a gravy you want in there. So there's not really a measurement for that. So if you are planning to eat it with rice, then obviously you would add more water in here. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Okay. Now again, do one last taste test. All right, let's take a look at this. I let this go for about 15 minutes. Now I don't use a lot of oil in my food. So the little bit of oil that you're gonna see on top is exactly where you want the curry. So you can see here that the curry is completely cooked through. It's delicious, I tried it. <clears throat> and then at this time you can adjust if you want it more um, um, more of the uh, gravy in there, add a little bit more water. But other than that, this is ready. So let's go ahead and put this in a bowl. So what I am going to do is I'm going to do a taste test with the Mahamri or the Mandazi. Mm. The pigeon peas are soft like butter. Then the curry spices that we've added to this curry, it's amazing. Um, for all those um, that wanna have it with rice or you wanna have it with the mahami or mandazi or even with naan. So thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. Stay safe, everyone.